Good afternoon, everyone. I've been in my office for weeks, and you people went home? Can I just say that putting Maxine Waters in charge of a financial investigation? That's just... Mwah. We have witnesses from many of the key players. Melvin Capital, Citadel, Reddit, Robinhood, as well as one of the retail investors involved. You say his name. Deep, you know what value. And we've got Andrew Heaton. I cashed in the AMC stock my grandpa gave me for my birthday and I made $15. All right, it's our job to ask stupid questions, usually with malicious intent, and it's your job to just run out the clock and not really answer them. Does that sound good to you guys? Uh, Congressman, um, I, yeah, I appreciate the opportunity to address that really important point. Good work. This is serious oversight responsibility. This is just political theater. I have always wanted to play Macbeth in Julius Caesar. This is a serious hearing. The more times you have to say it's a serious hearing, the less serious it is. This is not political theater at all. It's kabuki theater. They're very different. I'm not a cat. No, you are a scapegoat. Uh, or should I say Roaring Kitty? That was my stripper name. Were you in a naked position? Depends if they were paying in quarters or bills. Right now in my community, it's so poor that I have families melting snow so they can flush their toilets. Hopefully they get better representation soon. Compliance is at the center of everything that we do. That and paying fines for ignoring regulatory compliance. Some on the left are already floating new restrictions or things to, quote, protect, quote, protect these, these so-called so -called uninformed Maxine, retail Ma investors. Max Maxine, you need to mute your mic. Can you mute your, can you mute your mic? Okay. Uh, we were having a technical problem here. Somewhere between the keyboard and the chair. Uh, but I think it has been corrected. I have to be honest, I don't think Congress is smart enough to handle this. Melvin Capital had not engaged Maxine, in... Maxine, can you... Um, oh, not. sorry. M Madam Chairwoman? Maxine. I'm sorry. I think, I think you're not muted. Can someone under... 50. Please get to Maxine Waters' office. Uh, we have a few technical difficulties and we'll be right back. And we are back. <sighs> it goes from $5 to $100 to $200. You decided to halt the buying of Game Stock. It's Game Stock. Your customers wanted to buy the stock. You wouldn't let them do it because you didn't have the capital to allow them to do it, right? Robinhood Securities put the restrictions in place in an effort to meet increased regulatory deposit requirements. And you materially benefited from it. It becomes a reverse Robinhood situation. It's in our name. Rob? I'm sorry, and I apologize. How much is your apology worth? The public thinks that there was collusion, that the big guys, all of you guys, were figuring out how to do this and ultimately come out ahead as you always do. We don't answer to hedge funds. I answer to my wife and my wife's boyfriend and nobody else. We had no role. Melvin Capital played absolutely no role in those trading platform decisions. In Robin Hood's decision to limit trading in GameStop. It all sounds like it's on the up and up. Melvin Capital was not bailed out in the midst of these events. Citadel proactively reached out to become a new investor. Your fund completely tanks. Melvin lost $6 billion in 20 trading days. And Citadel comes in to invest in you? Yeah, that's not a bailout. Just somebody else gave you capital to cover your massive losses that would have sunk you as a company. And it doesn't smell fishy at all. Robinhood customers have have earned more than $35 billion. $35 billion is a meaningless number. This explains a lot about congressional budgeting. Not surprisingly, the situation with GameStop trading GameStop. has resulted in knee-jerk reactions calling for new laws and regulations. I didn't hear anyone here today say uh, that they were ready to pile on regulations. It's because you're not listening. It's now House Resolution 328. Please tell me that's your finger. Wall Street Tax Act. Or, or your knee. 2021. I actually have a copy of it from the last session. Here. I am so confused by your biology right now. So I want to talk about the high frequency trading. Only dogs can hear it. The majority of Americans support taxing Wall Street uh, transactions. So you're saying a majority of Americans think other people should pay more taxes? The extreme rise in value of GameStop, GameStop. originated through a Reddit discussion. I wouldn't call anything that happens on Wall Street bets a discussion. It's more like a group of profane howler monkeys fighting over a grape. Wall Street bets may look sophomoric or chaotic from the outside. You should check out Congress. They are an eccentric community. Basically the Mos Eisley Cantina of financial advice. Um, but they're well within the bounds of our content policy. And you don't say so much, your, your people lost on Homestop. Homestop? Singled out and moved 
on social media. Yeah, you can't manipulate stock on social media. You gotta do that on television. The biggest problem facing our people is, of course, speech. Uh, folks should be able to freely express their views on a stock and um, they should be able to, to, to buy or not buy a stock based on those views that they may have. Why is the only sensible person here in a gaming chair? The retail investor is known as dumb money. Hey, retail investor here again. We have to invest in stock because the Fed has made interest rates so low we can't save any money, and if we did, it would be eaten up by inflation. So either fix that or shut the f up. Retail investors are in fact revolutionizing the stock markets. I've been burnt once or twice uh, in the market. The problem is you're investing in boomer stocks. You need to invest in stocks with a future, like GameStop or AMC or Build-A-Bear. You admitted to making mistakes. Specifically, what mistakes did you make? I, I admit to always improving. Good save, bud. And uh, certainly, we're not going to be public. Freudian slip. We're not gonna be uh, perfect. Just tell me straight, is the game rigged? I believe you are asking one of the single most important questions posed today. Okay. All right.